guys, Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. Hope you guys have been doing well and taking care of yourselves. Uh, just wanted to uh, jump in here and talk about this real quick. Uh, nothing too too big, but I uh, thought this was pretty substantial. Um, besides the fact that this is actually not contesting the ruling that Judge Torres did, uh, this is fairly important because it is against uh, Ripple and uh, uh, more specifically against Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. Um, and the important thing that I'm reading, according to um, Jeremy and you know everybody out there, they're saying that this has nothing to do with XRP. XRP is not a security, period. But this right here is is just going after Ripple, Brad and Chris. So I don't know if anybody out there is concerned about whether this is kind of leaving XRP in you know in kind of limbo land or anything like that. But absolutely not. That is not the case. Um, you know, and and I think. What could be coming here shortly is a lot of confusion that is being thrown. Oh, you know what? I take that back. What is happening is a lot of confusion is being thrown out there by primarily Bitcoin maxis because it, it they have. I don't I don't understand the just the illogical hatred towards XRP. It makes no sense. I mean, Bitcoin is the is the big boy on the block. Everybody, or rather all coins, follow Bitcoin. If Bitcoin doesn't go, nothing else else goes. Just we've seen that. XRP was ruled not a security. It did, you know, have a pop up, but it didn't even cross a dollar. Why? Because Bitcoin hasn't gone anywhere. So I don't understand this illogical, irrational hatred for XRP. It really makes no difference. And, and honestly, the ruling that XRP itself is not a security actually helps Bitcoin and pretty much every other coin out there. I mean, if the coin itself is not a security and, and the SEC is actually, a, for the lack of a better uh, word, afraid of going after coins and, and deeming them securities, then that for the most part, or in a word, actually protects them from the SEC. So I just don't get it. But either way, um, we're we're seeing more action. We're seeing more, uh, you know, just things coming about with this. I'm really interested to see if this is going to affect what possibly could happen uh, as far as a bull run goes. Um, I was really kind of hoping we might see it happen by the end of this year, but uh, you know it's hard to say. Uh, I was listening to Blockchain Backer this morning, um, and his his video specifically talking about XRP just kind of gave the impression that we could see a bull run happen. But the problem is, like he's always, you know, like he's always mentioned. There is no way to predict, predict the time that these things can happen. So for now, we're still waiting. Um, you know, I have my bags holding on and, and bags of other things, that other coins rather, that I'm holding on to. So hopefully we'll see something nice within the next few months, even if it's just uh, kind of a precursor to it, kind of a pop-up, that would be nice. Uh, giving some type of hope in the market uh, but all in all guys we got to wait for Bitcoin and f for the time being it's being a bit lazy so hey we'll see how it goes guys thank you for joining me today hope you guys are doing well as I said if you haven't done so already hit that like, like subscribe and post notification button and until next time take care of yourselves and God bless